Hello and welcome to the first introductory project using the Easy System Inventors Toolkit. Easy System uses the Easy Circuit Designer and Core Chart programs and various PIC microcontroller boards to create programs that can be run on these controllers. For this project we will be designing an alarm system using an Elab 16M controller board, a push button switch, an LED, an Elabtronics USB P programmer, a power supply and a buzzer. Start by opening the Easy Circuit Designer program and creating a new project. Do this by clicking on the file menu and selecting new. In the window that pops up, name this project Alarm System and click OK. If the board that shows on your screen is not the Elab 16M board, select the options menu and click chip selection. In the chip selection window that appears, Click the Elab 16M label that is in the model column, then click OK. When a confirmation window appears, click OK. The controller board on screen will now represent the physical controller board we will use. If you look closely, you can see that each label shown on the board in the Easy Circuit program is also on the physical board, except for the LCD label, which we will not be using for this project. The LED and push button that we will be using for this project are already on the controller board, so all that needs to be added is the buzzer. The power supply does not need to be included in the design phase. To add a buzzer to the design, select the buzzer icon from the circuit groups menu and click on pin A0. Right click on the buzzer 20 label and select rename. Type in buzzer and press enter on the keyboard to confirm. This completes the design stage of the alarm system as all necessary equipment has been added. Now it's time to build the project. The push button and yellow LED have been pre-built into the controller board. This means we only need to attach the buzzer and the power supply. Place three AA batteries into the power supply and connect it to the Elab 16M controller board. The connection point is the white socket near the on-off switch on the controller board. Connect the black wire of the buzzer to the negative terminal on the controller board. Loosening a terminal screw will allow the wire to be placed inside the gap underneath that screw. Insert the wire as close to the top of the gap as possible and tighten the screw to secure the wire. Connect the white wire of the buzzer to terminal A0 on the controller board. Connect the Elabtronics USB P programmer to the 10 pin programming connection on the controller board. This connection is on the opposite side of the controller board to the power pack connection. The project has now been built and it is time for the alarm system to be programmed and tested. To begin we must send the alarm system's design from the Easy Circuit program to the Core Chart program. Ensure your alarm system design is open in the Easy Circuit program. If it is not, open your project by clicking the File menu and selecting Open. Navigate the directories to find your project, select it and click Open. To send your system to the Core Chart program, Select the Options menu and click on Send to Core Chart. Core Chart will open and the Alarm System program will currently look like this. The orange square in the program is a subroutine that will be used to test the buzzer in your project is working. When a design is sent from Easy Circuit to Core Chart, a test subroutine is generated for each of the output circuits in the design. As the buzzer is the only output added in the design, there is only a buzzer test subroutine in your program. To test the buzzer, Save the program in Core Chart. To do this, select the File menu and click Save As. Name the program Alarm System and click Save. Connect the Elabtronics USB P programmer to the 10 pin programming connection on the controller board. This connection is on the opposite side of the controller board to the power pack connection. Check that the battery pack is connected and the power switch on the controller board is set to on. Click the Send Program to Chip button on Core Chart. When asked to save the program, click OK. The program will now be downloaded onto the chip. The status bar will appear and if the download is successful, the status bar will turn green and display Write Successful. This may take some time. The status bar will then close automatically. Once the status bar has closed, set the power switch on the controller board to off. Disconnect the 10-pin programming cable from the controller board and after waiting a few seconds, Switch the power switch on the controller board to on. Push and release the push button on the controller board to run the test program. 
The aim of our program is to turn the buzzer and yellow LED on, delay for 5 seconds and then turn them both off. In CoreChart, right click the buzzer test routine and select delete. Click OK to confirm that you want to delete the icon. Click on the Outputs button in the Icons menu and select the On Off pin from the Icon Properties list. Click on the black arrow below the Start Main icon to place the new icon. Double click on the new On Off pin icon to open a form with icon options. In the Output field select Buzzer and select the On option. Click OK. Select the second On Off pin output and place it below icon 2. Double click on the new on off pin icon and in the output pin field select D7 yellow LED. Select the on option and click OK. Now click the numbers button from the icons menu and select time delay, which is at the bottom of the icon properties list. Click the black arrow after icon 3 to place the time delay icon. Double click the new icon to open the options form. Type the number 5 into the seconds field and select OK. Now select the third on-off pin output and place it below icon 4. Double click on the new on-off pin icon and in the output pin field select buzzer. Select the off option and click OK. Now select the fourth on-off pin output and place it below icon 5. Double click on the new on-off pin icon and in the output pin field select D7 yellow LED. Select the off option and click OK. By reading the flow of icons on CoreChart, you can see that the program turns the buzzer and LED on, then does nothing for 5 seconds. The buzzer and LED are then turned off and the program ends. It is now time to run this program on the controller board. Send the program to the chip and push and release the push button to run the program. The buzzer and the yellow LED will turn on and stay on for 5 seconds and then turn off. We will now add a button input to the program to set the alarm off. Go back to Core Chart and click the Decision button in the Icons menu. Select Push button in the first box in the Icon Properties list and select Off in the second box. Place the Decision icon at the beginning of the program by clicking the black arrow below the Start Main icon. As the Push button on the controller board is at an active low setting, the Push button is actually set to Off when it is pressed. The Decision icon has two branches. If the push button is pressed, the program will follow the path of the green Y. If the push button is not pressed, the program will follow the path of the red N. To see the effect of the decision icon, we will run the program. Send the program to the chip and press the push button to run the program. The buzzer and LED will be turned on as before because at the instant you press the push button to start the program, the program checks if you are pushing the push button, finds that you are, and always takes the green yes path. The green Y path of the decision will only perform one extra icon. This means that if we want multiple actions to be done on the Y path, that icon needs to be a subroutine. We will now group the buzzer on, LED on and time delay icons into a subroutine so that all of them are only performed if the button is pressed. Click on icon 3 to select it and hold the shift key down while clicking on icon 5. This will select both icons and all icons between them. Click the Group button in the Icons menu and select Group Name. Type Alarm On as Group Name and click the Create New Group button. To look inside the subroutine group, double click on it. This will bring what is in the subroutine group on screen. To get back out of the subroutine, double click on the Return from Subroutine icon. The alarm system is unsatisfactory as it will only run through once. We want to change the program so that the program runs in a continuous loop. To do this, have the main program on screen and click the Go To button in the Icons menu. In the Icons Properties box, Start should be selected. Place this icon at the end of the program by clicking the last black arrow. The program will now return to the start each time that it has reached the Go To icon and will run in a continuous loop. It is now time to run the completed alarm. Send the program to the chip and press the push button to start the program. Every time the push button is pressed, the buzzer and yellow LED should be turned on for 5 seconds and then turned off. We have now completed the basic alarm system. Thank you for using Easy System. 
We hope you have enjoyed this tutorial.